Conor McGregor's net worth as of 2023 is estimated at around $200 million. But how does this fighting and branding superstar spend his dough? I decided to take a closer look. Okay, let's start with his houses. I mean, no superstar would be complete without a few mansions to his name, right? In 2019, for example, he snagged a mansion in County Kildare in Ireland. It's a five-bed, six-bath pad complete with horse-riding facilities. He threw down 2.5 million bucks for that one. He also picked up a vacation spot in Marbella, Spain for 1.6 mil. It's a sick villa with a home spa, a huge pool, a custom gym, and an ocean view. He also likes to rent a pad in Las Vegas, which kind of makes sense because he's like always there for fights and publicity stuff. Technically, the house is in Henderson, which is like 15 minutes away from the Vegas Strip, but it comes with seven huge bedrooms, an infinity pool, a jacuzzi, and enough garage space for 10 cars. For starters, a lot of rich stars will buy car after car after car and store half of them in a garage somewhere so that they'll stay in great condition and nobody dings them up. So with someone like Conor McGregor, that's a distinct possibility. But at the same time, he also seems to thrive on showing off his riches. So we can safely say he owns at least eight cars, because those are the ones he's posted about. For starters, he's got a Cadillac Escalade. It's actually the most basic car he has. And since you can't actually see me, I'll let you know I had huge air quotes going when I said basic, because a Cadillac that costs 110 k is about as unbasic as it gets. When he's not slumming it in his low-key Escalade, he's rolling in one of his other luxury whips. That includes a Mercedes-AMG S550 Coupe and a BMW i8. Both of those set you back a quick 165000 but at least it keeps you from being seen in that basic Cadillac, right? From there, the cars only get more and more insane. For example, Connor can roll around in his McLaren 650S, which set him back about 295 k the McLaren is a sick sports car and has those doors that open out and up, which is the international symbol for, dude, you can't afford to own this car. But Connor can. He can also afford his custom Rolls-Royce Ghost. Of course, when a car is gifted to you, you can def afford it. Connor was given this insane custom job, complete with his face and notorious spray painted across the side, when he competed in UFC 205 in 2016. And I'm not saying the car helped him win, but, you know, he won. He also has a Lamborghini Urus SUV, which goes for around 230 k because you gotta take the kids to school, right? At the top of the range in Connor's collection are a Lamborghini Aventador Roadster and another Rolls-Royce, a Phantom Drophead Coupe. Those go for about 419000 and 550000 bucks, respectively. And by the way, we'd consider you a top-of-the-range fan if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, just saying. But if you think his relationship with Lambos ends with his Aventador Roadster and Urus SUV, you're quite wrong, my friend. Because in 2021, he went ahead and outdid his entire car collection in one fell swoop. And no, I'm not talking about a private jet. That's coming later. In this case, it was a soaking wet swoop because he got himself a Lamborghini 63. A vessel so smooth, it's not even a car. It's literally a yacht made by Lamborghini, which set him back about 4 million bucks. You might be wondering about the 63 in its name. Well, that's because they went ahead and only made 63 of them. Oh, also because it's 63 feet long and because Lambo first showed off a sports car in 1963. And it's not like Lambo just made a boat and slapped their name on it. The yacht is meant to feel like you're driving one of their cars across the water. Heck, the steering wheel is basically the same one that Connor has on his Aventador. Plus, the boat is made out of carbon fiber, the same material used on a lot of the premier Lamborghini cars. The 63, oddly enough, weighs 64 tons and has a max speed of 60 knots. So I guess not everything about it can be 63. And even if that starts to irritate him, he could always just ditch the 63 and cruise around on his other yacht. Yep, the fighting superstar bought a Prestige 750 yacht a few years ago, which runs at about 3.4 mil. Okay, so technically, he'll need to ask permission to use that particular boat because he actually bought it for his dad, Tony. He named it the 188. That refers to the amount he was getting at one point in welfare payments from the Irish government long before he became rich and famous. Oddly enough, people thought he was trying to get rid of the 188, along with a pair of jet skis he bought, a few days after he revealed the purchase to the world. He posted some pics of time with his family out on the water, but then a few days later he posted a pic of him getting back home with a caption that read, What a summer it was. Anyone want to buy a yacht and a few skis? Ha ha ha. 
He ended up with the Lambo 63, so I'm sure he's not too stressed about it. He also doesn't stress when he's flying with his family in style. It's a little unclear whether Connor has splurged on his own private jet yet, but at this point, I'm leaning towards yes? Here's where the confusion lies. For starters, let's be clear that Connor and his family are not flying commercial. I can't imagine the man trying to wedge all those muscles into a middle seat, let alone deal with all the people trying to talk to him during the flight. So for many years now, there have been a multitude of social media posts showing Connor and his fam on board a private jet. But when you do a little digging, you realize it's never been his private jet. Like this set, which shows them living it up on a sweet, sweet PJ. But apparently that particular jet, a Legacy 600, was rented by CentralJets.com. Now, that's not to say it isn't impressive. The private jet rents out at a cool 18000 bucks per hour. So if you use it enough, you'll start to hit the same price range as just buying one. And that might actually be what happened. Because in February of 2023, Connor posted pics of his family arriving back home in Ireland, and they arrived in a completely new jet. This one, a Gulfstream G550, seems to be his. Or at least that's how the website Auto Evolution reported on it. That means Connor went ahead and snagged a PJ. That particular plane can cost anywhere in the range of 16 million to 62 million, depending on the year and the condition. I also checked out aircraftcostcalculator.com. According to them, using an average of 450 hours of flying every year, the operating costs of Connor's new ride will be about 7,700 bucks an hour. So that's way better than renting, right? I mean, assuming you plunk down those millions to buy it in the first place. Either way, we know McGregor and his family and friends are flying in style everywhere they go, and they aren't afraid to let everyone know about it. Speaking of letting people know, anyone who follows Connor, or really anybody at all, is probably aware he founded whiskey brand Proper 12 in 2018. And I say anyone at all because he spent so much time advertising the brand in the next couple of years, it was hard to avoid. But savvy stars like Connor know you have to spend money to make money. And while we don't know what his initial investment was, it can't be super cheap to start a major liquor brand, right? What we do know is he was able to use his clout and marketing skills to take it from a no-name company to one valued at hundreds of millions of dollars. And in 2021, he sold the majority of his shares in the company to Proximo Spirits in a deal worth close to $600 million. So with his share of that profit, he can buy, I don't know, a bunch more cars and yachts. Okay, I'm gonna go look at some more photos of that Lambo yacht. I might pick one up tomorrow, you know, if I have time. If you know of any other great ways Connor has spent his millions, pop them in the comments.